The City of Sun approved this afternoon here at Lambton College that they're a leader in promoting accessibility for everyone as, as they brought the business community together to begin the conversation on how to infuse more individuals with disabilities into the workforce. A long established culture at Sarnia City Hall, which promotes inclusive hiring practices, has created opportunity for employees, the municipality, and the community. Sonia Mayor Mike Bradley says, in order to continue this positive momentum forward, it's all about maintaining environments where everyone has the opportunity to etch their fingerprints in the sand of independence and equality. It's all about not just attitude, it's the culture. What you need to do is with any organization, in our case it's a city, in other cases it's business, is get across to people. This is to your benefit. If you want employees who are dedicated, who are skilled, who can do the right thing for your organization and improve its quality, and that's what you do. You create a culture where it's uh, a smart thing to do. Motivational speaker Dan Edwards was one of Friday's keynote speakers at the summit, he shares a message of both courage and conviction and encourages others with or without a disability to demand excellence out of themselves, no matter what their circumstances may bear. Uh, since my accident in uh, 2006, uh, I was wrestling with a buddy of mine. He picked me up and I landed on my head and I broke my neck at the C5, C6 level. So uh, I'm an incomplete quadriplegic. Uh, I do have sensation in uh, some parts of my legs, but I can't walk, right? So after my accident, I was, I, before my accident, I was really into sports, right? So uh, I wanted to still find a way, you know, to be active, also to take part in my community because so much outpouring and moving and passion was given to me. And uh, money as well. They raised almost uh, $150,000 for me and my family. Actually, sorry, just over. And I needed a way to find out how to you know, give some of that back and also uh, inspire people the same way they inspired me. Right. Actually, what I didn't mention in my presentation was that uh, at a local gym here in, here in Sarnia, with some of that money, I ended up donating a piece of gym equipment that actually helps people who are in wheelchairs get a workout. Right. So I'm in there, always, uh, you know, getting a workout because, like, like I said, I like to be active, pretty into sports, so I stay healthy and stay fit, just like that. From Lambton College, at the second annual. Sonia Accessibility Summit. I'm Kevin McShann for the YouTube News Blitz.